Now listen. Now please raise your hand if you feel like you've been personally victimized by Marvel Studios Infinity War. This is the movie we've all been leading to when the Avengers have to go face to face with their biggest foe, Thanos. Ladies and gentlemen, the Russo brothers are beginning to be getting a ton of my therapy bills because they blew me away with this film. I don't know what you guys are going to think of this movie. This movie is absolutely bonkers. It is a lot to process. I feel like I need to watch this movie multiple times. I need to see what on earth they plan to do with Avengers 4. I feel like what the Russo brothers were tasked with to do, they did it extraordinary. I can't believe they were able to get so many people on screen and uh, make it work and make it entertaining and make you understand where each storyline, each character is at. And I really applaud them. I do think, though, if you are not a fan of the MCU, this movie is not going to convert you. The Russo's brothers handled this perfectly. They realized they had a lot of ground to cover, so they just assumed that by this point you have seen a couple of Marvel movies, that you have been with it since the beginning or something, and they didn't really take the time to, in a sense, uh, develop these characters even more. Because, in a sense, we've had 18 films in which this world and these characters have been developed. I can't believe this because a lot of the issues that I've had with the Marvel Cinematic Universe are not to be found in this film. I feel like it's ballsy. I feel like it's bonkers. I feel like it has actual stakes. And Thanos is a real threat to the MCU. I was so worried that he was just going to show up and then he'd just be smash, smash, smash. I'm evil, here to destroy the world, and that might be his end goal, but like there is actual weight to him. He fully believes what he's doing is for the right cause, and he actually has emotional weight, and when you, even though you aren't on his side, you understand what side he stands on, where he's been, and where he plans to see himself going. Action sequences were just absolutely stunning to watch. I feel like if you're a big fan of the Russo brothers previous films like Winter Soldier and Civil War, particularly Civil War, I think you're really gonna like this installment. I really, look, I thought the whole world on initial release was gonna love The Last Jedi, so I was completely wrong about that. So I don't wanna make any predictions on whether or not you're gonna love this or not. I think some people are gonna be torn on this because this is at the end of the day only part one of an overall story. There is a cliffhanger, and I think they execute that cliffhanger brilliantly. I was wrecked while watching it. The last, like, 20 or 30 minutes I found extraordinarily compelling and brutal to watch. And uh, all sorts of fan theories, all predictions, predictions that I had, they did not meet. But I love that. I, oh my goodness, did this movie really do damn it. I mean, my entire drive home, I'm just like... Uh, I'm like shaking, you know, I've had a really rough week and this did not help at all in any way, shape, or form. I, I just, I'm blown away by the craftsmanship of this movie. Like visually this movie looks amazing. I thought all the performances were really well. No one's outshining another. And you know, when you have so many different directors have helming a Marvel film and you're bringing them all together, it's amazing how much these characters work. You know, like at one point this is... You know, it feels like a sequel to Civil War, and at one point it's a straight-up Guardians of the Galaxy movie. But I felt like they mashed all together really well. I cannot believe a blockbuster went there, it did that, it ruined me. I literally stood in shock and horror at, like, the last act of this entire film. I am trying to dodge spoilers in all regards, so I feel like this is the worst review I've put out on this channel. But I will just say this much. You're going to go see this movie regardless. I say go in open-minded, uh, bring tissues, prepare to feel both satisfied and unresolved in the same way. I was completely blown away by this movie. I was so shook by this film and in all the right ways. As a score goes, I'm going to give Marvel's Infinity War a 4 out of 5. I was blown away by this movie. I loved it. I would rank it very high in the MCU for me, you guys. I mean, it's not Guardians of the Galaxy. It's not Black Panther. It's not maybe the first Avengers. I don't really know. I'm battling with that. 
but it's very high on my ranking list. I personally love this movie. Please let me know in the comment section below where this falls on your, in your opinion. Do you love it? Do you hate it? Where on the spectrum do you need to see Avengers 4 to finalize your opinion on this? Because I do feel like some people are just going to need that. Because this is a very... It's a lot. 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 <laughs> y'all let me know in the comment section below what y'all thought. And until next time, I'm the Slash Movie here. And you guys have just been slashed.